Okay, violas, here is your fourth movement. This one is, is a difficult movement, so you really are going to need to spend a lot of time on this. Practice it with a metronome. Start very slowly, gradually speed it up. Uh, it's going to be probably in one. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Even if it's in two, it will be fast. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can practice very slowly, like I said, with the metronome, and then gradually speed it up. I would practice on the string first, just to find the pitches, so... E flat. just the bow stroke. So the bow stroke should be very close to the string. So use very little bow, not like this. Remember if you have your arm really low, it can be hard to bounce or if your hand is really tight, it's out of control. So get your arm higher, get your wrist higher, relax your fingers, don't squeeze your bow. Let the bow help you. It's very close to the string. Okay, you can practice just that. You practice your scales. Just to practice the bow stroke. Okay? Then you can practice very slowly. So if you take your metronome, you can play where you're taking it off so it's short, but it's in four very slow. So at the beginning, one, two, three, four. That's at a quarter equals a hundred. You could also do half notes. So let's do this is at let's say half note equals 70. So that would be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then gradually speed it up a few notches at a time making sure you're really playing all of the right notes, okay? So let's keep going. So we're at rehearsal A now, so back, so B flat. So again, I would practice on first to get the pitches. F sharp, you either play one high three or one low four, okay? have to really save your bow if you go, if you do, you're in trouble for this, or you can't do that, the bow stroke there. So save your bow here. So even when you're practicing slow, it'll be tricky. So one, two, three, four, five, six, E flat. So then you end up a surprise. Uh, so, oh, uh, yes, yeah, same key. So. Again, really save your bow. It won't sound great when we're really slow. Sorry. Get softer and then a big surprise at C. Two, three, four, one, two. So we have at first the D, F sharp. could do the chromatic four three two one two one or you could do four three two three two two one as long as it's clean you don't want it to sound like so you have
have to be very quick with your finger. So, okay, so practice that. If you do that fingering or a quick motion with the finger, okay? So, right there on the chromatic part. Now on the top, let's do the top part. So A flat, B natural. So make sure make sure those are far enough, far enough apart. E flat. And on the bottom you have. Okay, then we have our. Oh, where did I go? Okay, so uh, G flat. So, so low four, three, two, one. Then B flat, play low low two. So okay, and again, really practicing saving your bow for that. So one, two, three, four, one. Two. So it gets softer. Okay, at D, this is a more floating bow. So let's go slowly. One, two, three, four, one, two. F sharp. Place on the string. Okay, so place uh, always before you start any of these, you're always going to come from the string, okay? Save your bow. So that's up, up. Now here you could do one open, low three, three. So D sharp. did the key change at D, right? So that would be at E, F sharp, crescendo, decrescendo, lift place. we go back to our B flat and change keys. So again, place your bow on the string. Then mezzo forte. Back to piano. Crescendo. So this one, this rhythm is tricky, right? Make sure you really, really have this rhythm really well. So it's one, two, and three, four, and one, two, Faster. One, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one. A little faster. Always place your bow. Ready, and. Okay, and then you're going to have to get that faster and faster, of course. Don't use a lot of bow. Very little bow, okay? Let's keep going right there. Start at that place and keep going. Back to our slow tempo. One, two, three, four. Okay, then 
and that one doesn't get softer. That one stays forte. At L, let's make sure we practice the placing. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Place, 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 place. So these we're going to hold as long as we can. Not, don't cheat. Do that. So very fast. We take one, two, three, four, or the bottom. Uh, let's see. So, uh... Flat one, two, three, four. Place, place, two, three, four. Two, place, two, three, four. Place, place, one, two, three. Place, accent. crazy right so here we have one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two now do your accents those pitches on the bottom are fine. I don't think you probably have any questions about those. Okay, uh, so again, start slowly with the metronome, gradually speed it up. Make sure you're le learning all of the correct accidentals uh, to start because we have the key change and then we have a bunch of accidentals. Okay, all right, happy practicing.